We are live there, and now we are. Good morning, Phoenix College soccer fans. This is the Bear Gargiulo coming at you from. Once again, our secret room on Phoenix Campus Conference Center in the back room with Coach. Hey, Coach. Hey, John. How you doing today, my man? I'm good. Nice. All right, so I want to let you guys know, we've got some great responses from these podcasts. So me and Coach are going to try to do them every week. Same time, same place, same location. <laughs> Because we've been getting a lot of great feedback on it. Um, last Wednesday, uh, the Bear Gargiulo told you I had the weekend off. It was my birthday, so we did a podcast on Wednesday. Don't have too much to catch up on. But let's start with Tuesday we went through 8-0 whooping. Big time. All kinds of people. Coach couldn't even tell you how many people scored that day. Right, Coach? That is correct. That is correct. You got a little bored. So when it's 8-0 thing, we're going to whip through that quick. Now, we didn't play Thursday. The boys had a day off because, you know, they've been working really, really hard. You know, putting the work in, champions are made. They're not born. Right, Coach? If you say so. Right. Okay. So Thursday we had off. Saturday, Chandler Gilbert. Now, let me tell you, Chandler Gilbert's been playing pretty good. They started off a little slow. Over the last couple weeks, they've really been putting up some nice goals. and But uh, nah, not quite enough. You know what I mean? It was a 1-0 victory. Guess who scores? Musa. <laughs> Musa. 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 I told you last week, this guy's like the wind. He scored in a penalty kick to give us the victory. Dub. Pocket. We go home. But that was a tough game, and i got to really give Chandler Gilbert some credit. I mean, they played you guys well. And they're really not known as a soccer team, right, Coach? <laughs> they're a very good soccer team. <laughs> <laughs> they are a good soccer team. It's, but I, it's they, one of the better teams I've seen in a while from Chandler Gilbert. Right? Yep. I mean, they weren't as great over the last couple of years, but they look fairly decent this year. Yeah, they, they have the size and athleticism to keep up with us, and uh, their coaching staff is pretty good. So so their coaching staff is fairly well. They're, huh? they're going to they're gonna have some big wins this year. Um, I think they'll, they'll be up there in the playoff hunt. They'll be in the top six in our conference. Wow, and let me tell you something. Coach doesn't give kudos out very often. So grab that. Stick it in your pocket and run with it, Chandler Gilbert. <laughs> but honestly, in all fairness, this is the toughest soccer conference, I would say, pretty much anywhere. There's a lot of great, great teams in this conference. So even if you're in the middle of the pack, you're a fairly decent soccer team between Pima, GCC, Yavapai, Phoenix, I mean, a lot of power. And and speaking of those three teams, four teams, let's bring up next week, Coach, because I know that, you know, next week is going to be a tough little hurdle for you. On Tuesday, we have Pima, great team. Uh, what are they ranked in the nation? They're number four in the country, and then they'll probably move up to two or three tomorrow. Two or three. So this is a big game for us, you guys. Where is that? In in Pima? Tucson, yep. In Tucson. Um, so, you know, let's let's get on. Let's give some support to our guys. Uh, I think we, we definitely have the thoroughbreds to take this game. Uh, but it's going to be a tough one. So, you know, stu stay tuned. Tune in. Let's give these guys our support. Like I say, anytime you see them around campus, give them a pat on the back. Tell them they're doing a great job. And uh, Thursday, we got GCC. So another tough game. Another, another, 
uh, you know, nice foe to go against? It's tough because it's it's our rival school. They're the closest institution, and we battle over a lot of the same kids. So it's a great rivalry game between PC and GCC. So that's going to be Thursday night. That here? Nope. Once again, on the road. Uh, Pioneer Park. Oh, Pioneer Park. Yeah. Well, see, that's not bad. That's actually fairly close. It's over by Anthem, right? It's in Glendale. In Glendale. Yeah, it's right down the street from Glendale. It's like 101 and uh, Olive Road. Uh, Olive Road. It's, it's so here's the deal. Uh, you know, that's Thursday night. If you could get out there, give a little support. We, we always love some support. You know, I mean, there's nothing better than playing for a crowd, hearing your name called, he, you know, hearing people back you up. Get out there. Let's give the boys a little bit of support. All right, now Saturday. Let's talk about this. What's going on Saturday, Coach? We're going to play Yavapai at Ken Lindley. Kenley, and where is that? Uh, deep into Prescott. Deep in the Prescott. Yeah. You guys ever been to Whiskey Row? <laughs> That's up by there. So if you want to take, like, maybe some time, go see the game, then head to Whiskey Row. I know Watson Lake is up there. Beautiful lake. You do a little canoeing. You make a day trip out of it. You know what I mean? That's Saturday. That's a good day trip day. Go see some soccer. Go to Whiskey Row. Maybe go to the Watson Lake. It's a good time, wouldn't you say? Isn't that the place you heckled the Yavapai? I don't team? remember that. I don't. Rem I don't ever remember that. I went to Whiskey Row prior to going and seeing them, and I was just saying hello that day. <laughs> it's on YouTube. <laughs> go look at. You have a pie. Yeah. Raw. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, um, in conclusion, next week, big week for our soccer program. You know. It's, it's this week. So well, we yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. It's live. Yeah, well, We're not tape delayed. No, I understand that. But this week means next week. Okay. Because I haven't got there yet. Oh, okay. If it was today, it'd be this week. But it's tomorrow, so it's next week. <laughs> Makes total sense. You know what I mean, coach? Anyway, Tuesday, Pima. Thursday, GCC. And Yavapai on Saturday. Great road trip day, Saturday. All right. So let's talk about some of your players. Uh, Musa. Talked about him last week. Uh, leading the conference in goals with 11. Yep. Leading the uh, conference in points with 26. Um, Saturday, uh, what do we have here? Uh, oh, yeah. Saturday, we already talked about that. Musa winning the game with a penalty kick. Right? No way. No way he's leading the conference with seven assists. Correct. Is that correct? Yep. No way. No way. <laughs> I love saying that. And he, no way actually, uh, he's the one that got fouled to get us the penalty kick. He's the one, and then Musa took it. Yep. I got to tell you, no way he's playing really good. I saw him this morning. How you feeling, baby? He says, I'm a little tired. I said, that's because you've been working hard. <laughs> and you know what he said to me? Yeah, I have been working hard. <laughs> so, you, way to go, coach. Pushing them, baby. Pushing them. All right. Um, let's talk about our goalie. 0. .897 goal percentage. Right? Gilberto. Yep. Phenomenal. He's leading it, right, in goal percentage? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, Gilberto. Wonderful. I want to bring up a couple other guys on the team. Uh, Ricardo, I think we talked about. Was it Ricardo scored before Musa last week? Ricardo is our other goalkeeper. And who Who is the one that scored before Musa in uh, Wednesday's game? Uh, last week, Tuesday, you mean? Yeah. Uh, PV? Uh, shoot. I don't know. Don't know. All right. Um, I want to get to some of the other guys on the team, see where we're going. 
uh, just want to give everybody credit. I don't want to just, you know, like really give credit to one guy. This is a team sport. 11 of you play. 11 of you have been playing really great together. Now, some of the players, of course, well, they get a little bit more action than others just because they might be strikers or setup guys. Um, you're all playing phenomenal, and I just want to point out that. You're playing as a team, uh, phenomenal effort, and I'm really proud of all of you. So I just wanted to throw that out of there. Um, anything else you got to add? No. No. Um, well. We, we can talk about some of your Facebook friends calling me names. Well, you know what? They're not really calling you names. They're just saying that, you know, like, we're, we're a good yin-yang. You know what I mean? To my positive, you know, your negative goes very well. <laughs> That's all they're saying. Personality, coach. Personality, coach. You know what I mean? So, and, but in all fairness, let's get this out on the table right now, okay? There's only a few coaches not only in this town, but nationally, that are as good as this guy right here. He's a phenomenal coach. The way he coaches his kids, the way he goes about it, his personality, well, you know, his personality is that of a winner. He expects certain things. There's certain levels that he sets. He can't be messing around. So I just wanted to point that out, okay? So don't be messing with my coach. All right, this is the Bear Guard Julo coming at you from our secret room at Phoenix College with the Bear Guard Julo and Coach. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>